Tonight we're going off the tape to get a read on the future of the boom in healthier foods, one of my absolute favorite themes. That future may look like Hampton Creek Foods, the maker of plant-based, egg-free alternatives for mayonnaise and cookie dough. Their two products, Just Mayo and Just Cookies, are healthier and cheaper than the egg-based competition, and they finally give vegans a way to fill that mayonnaise-flavored hole in their stomachs. Hampton Creek's products are now available at 15,000 locations in the U.S. and Asia, including everybody from Whole Foods, Kroger, Costco, Walmart. Incredible, given that you couldn't find this stuff anywhere even just a year ago. Hey, you know what? Today, the company announced that it raised $90 million in Series C financing, which is going to invest in R&D and use to accelerate its expansion in Western Europe and Asia. I think any of the major packaged food players should be desperate to acquire this company, which was on CNBC's Disruptor 50 list for 2014, a group privately held, group privately held companies that are revolutionizing, if not destroying, their industries. Now, yesterday, I got another chance to check in with Josh Tetrick. He's the founder and CEO of Hampton Creek Foods and a man who, who really has proven that you can make an omelet without breaking any eggs. Take a look. Josh, Just Mayo does a lot of things, and it's famous for being already in Whole Foods. A lot of the big stores really like it, but i got to start with the elephant in the room. Uh, that's me. How's it possible? That is, that is a cookie dough head, Jim, that if you want to, you can actually eat. So one of our, our filmmakers' girlfriend is a sculptor, so we thought it might be a good gift if we, if we take our product, Just Cookie Dough, and we shape it into what we hope is an uncanny resemblance of your head. Well, it is admittedly something that I hadn't <laughs> thought would be used, but I do want to talk about the notion of health and this. My mom always told me that if you leave mayo out, you could get salmonella. That is not the case with this kind of mayo, is it? You got it. It's not the case. We really tried to put together something that was healthier, that was safer, and that was more affordable, and we put it together. And this is in Walmart, Whole Foods, Safeway, all over the place, and that is really what Hampton Creek is about. That's our philosophy. Well, even since I saw you last, I mean, it just seems like that everyone has decided they have to, they have to offer this kind of product. They have. I mean, we don't look at it as a trend, though, Jim. We look at it as in order to create a world in which 99% of the food isn't that bad for the body or right. that bad for the planet, you've got to create a world where the good food, the food that's better for the body and better for the planet, is more affordable and tastes better, otherwise changes a fantasy. But how can this have the same texture and feel? Well, we, ha we have a team of data scientists, a biochemist. Uh, some of our data scientists formerly led YouTube uh, and uh, Google Maps' data team, and they look at plants all around the world. There are about 400,000 plant species that haven't been searched through, and we search through them, we find the best of them, and we use it instead of a chicken egg. Well, you know what? If I uh, Sometimes I, I, I don't like butter. It's too fattening. So I, I can always get, I can't believe it's not butter, which is a product from Unilever. Unilever seems upset with just mayo. Yeah, they are. Unilever filed a lawsuit against us uh, fairly recently. And you know, I have to say, before I get into the details of it, I think Unilever is a, a good company with, with good people. I think their heart's in the right place, and I think as a company, they're going in the right direction. But don't you think it's an identity crisis? I mean, look, they're fresh mayo, and you're fresh mayo, but they're claiming that the FDA has said that only this is mayo, and you can't use mayo. And I think for us, part of the reason why this lawsuit strikes a real a deep chord with us is, our philosophy as a company, the reason why we exist, the reason why people like Mark Benioff have invested I in us. I know, Mark's in that big round last round. You got it. And the, the reason why is because we believe the good things should be more affordable. We didn't want Just Mayo to be a nice little alternative substitute product for people like that. We want it to be the only thing. Okay, now, I, I've been a big backer of White Wave, which has been a winner. And one of the reasons is, is that Greg Angle's CEO has told me over and over again that plant-based milk milk, it's not really, we know, it's the, the generic term milk, term milk, is going to be huge in China because of the food chain and how corrupt it is. How big can this be in China? Well, so today we're already selling Just Mayo in Park and Shop, the largest grocery store chain in Hong Kong. Uh, Lee Kai-shing, one of our investors, right. uh, someone we're very proud to be connected with. I think it can be big, and I think it can be big because obviously the population's exploding. Right. But the only way you feed people in a way that actually works is if you make the good thing more affordable and safer. So part of this round of funding is going to pretty uh, intense expansion uh, across China and uh, elsewhere in Asia. We only have White Wave. I know you said it's not organic and natural, but let's uh, humor me here. We only have White Wave and we have Hain uh, really as the only two plates that are pure place. Uh, Boulder, I'm not counting because it's a different kind of company. Um, 
If you came public, it could be huge. We need another natural and organic. What are you waiting for? Well, so I have to say, though, Jim, I don't see Hampton Creek as in sort of the natural and organic space, right? Okay. My dad, I like White Wave and I like Hain. My right. dad is not going to Walmart or Kroger or Safeway or Costco and buying that. My dad is buying the cheapest, the most affordable, the thing he's had his entire life. Right. We want to go after people like my dad. We want to go right after the mainstream. That's our point of view. That's the point of view we're taking. Uh, and But for us, um, you know, we've had a few companies uh, offer to acquire us. Right. That's you not our enough. path. That's right. not our path. This is, uh, to me, the fact that it's in Walmart, the, the fact that, look, we used to use margarine when we were growing up. Butter was too expensive. Never knew the difference. Probably tasted better. This probably tastes better. I'm going just mayo. It, it, it tastes better, Jimmy. And that's what Compass Group, even a big food service company, has said, you know what? I believe in these cookies. I believe in the philosophy. And, man, we're ready to run. I believe in it, too. That's Josh Tetrick, founder and CEO of Hampton Creek Foods. You can't buy shares in it yet, and it's being sued. I can't believe it's not mayo. Stay with Kramer. <laughs>